Hello, I'd like to talk to you about fiberglass. In 1964, a deep sea submersible, commonly known as Alvin, made its first dive. Since, it has made over 3,000 dives to an average depth of 6,000 feet. Alvin still remains a state-of-the-art submarine due to its numerous reconstructions. The sub is completely reassembled every three to five years. Since it was first designed in 1964, the original aluminium frame has been replaced by titanium and the depth range has increased from 13 to 15,000 feet. Another example of materials used to construct deep sea submersibles can be found in Johnson Sea Link, a 23 foot long acrylic and aluminium submersible commonly used for marine science research. Considering the volume of water over the deepest parts of the ocean, it is no wonder that pressure is one of the most important factors to consider when designing and creating a deep sea submersible. Pressure increases at one atmosphere, or ATM as it is known, for every 10 metres in depth. At Alvin's deepest dive, it can withstand an amazing pressure of 400 ATM. With the exception of hydrothermal vent communities, the deep sea temperature remains between 2 and 4 degrees Celsius. Alvin is 7.1 metres long, 3.7 metres tall and 2.6 metres wide and weighs 17 metric tonnes. Alvin's cockpit is made of a titanium sphere surrounded by a syntactic foam then coated in fibreglass. Fibreglass is a material made of extremely fine fibres of glass. It is used as a reinforcing agent for many polymer products, the resulting composite material property known as fibre reinforced polymer or FRP. Mass production of fibreglass was only made possible with the advent of finer machine tooling. What is commonly known today as fibreglass was invented in 1938 by Russell Game Slater. Strands of silica based or other formulation glass are extruded into many fibres with small diameters suitable for textile processing. Glass, unlike other polymers, has little crystalline structure even in small fibres. The structure of glass in its soft stage is very similar to when it is spun into fibre. As a result of a reversible change in viscosity during cooling, glass has attained such a high viscosity to be, for all practical purposes, rigid. It has no true melting point However, it starts to soften up to 2,000 degrees, where it starts to degrade. At 1,713 degrees Celsius, most of the molecules can move about freely. If the glass is then cooled quickly, they will be unable to form an order structure. This results in higher strength and lower risk of breaking. In the polymer, it forms SiO4 groups which are configured as a tetrahedron with the silicon atom at the centre surrounded by four oxygen atoms. The network is bonded by sharing oxygen atoms. Along with the titanium sphere and syntactic foam, the fibreglass shell helps Alvin to reach great depths and high pressures in the sea to explore the massively unexplored deep abyss. Fibreglass is a highly versatile material. It can withstand great pressure it also acts as an efficient thermal insulator, as well as being a highly resilient material. And as such, I believe it makes an ideal material for deep sea submersibles such as Alvin. 1. S-glass is a high strength formulation for use when tensile stress is the most important property. 2. Glass fibres are useful because of their high ratio of surface area to weight. 3. By trapping air within them, blocks of glass fibre make good thermal insulation with a thermal conductivity of 0.05. 4. Because glass has an amorphous structure, its properties are the same along the fibre and across the fibre. 5. In contrast to carbon fibre, glass fibre can undergo more elongation before it breaks. This website became useful when finding information on pressure. It is a website specific to marine biology, therefore it is less general and the information was more reliable. I also collected an image from photolib.noaa.gov. 
This website helped me to obtain basic information on Alvin. Its use is limited and the information was general, but it helped. Although its reliability is questionable, it proved to be a very useful source when finding detailed information on fiberglass. I also collected various images from this site that were in the public domain. This website was created and is for the company who maintain Alvin and other submersibles. Therefore it was extremely reliable and useful. However, it did not give detailed information on what I wanted. This website helped me to find background information on submarines. For this use it proved reliable and all in all a good source.